All right, hope you're all doing well out here at Quintero in Arizona. Check them out in the link in the description below. Let's jump on it. Got a special video for you today with homeboy here, Golf Holics. Mike is gonna take us around. We're gonna do three holes with Mike. He's gonna give you his tips and strategies for how he's gonna approach these next three holes. Hopefully, I believe you guys will learn something. He's a great player. Goes low, beats me down here and there. Well, more than here and there. Anyways, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, bell, share, whatever. Send it to your mom for Mother's Day. She'll love it. Uh, anyways, um, here we go. Mike's gonna hook us up. What do we got here? All right, so let's just get started right away. We got a par four, it's 370 yards, tight fairway. Um, my go-to is my driver. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tee the ball a little bit low. Uh, hit a little fairway finder, choke up about a half inch to an inch, whatever you feel comfortable with, and uh, just make sure you hit that fairway. Even if it's 250 down the middle, it's it's okay. Only 250. All right, good. Do it to it. Great shot. Puts it right down the middle of the fairway. All right, so that driver really worked out perfect. I got 126, dead center, caught the fairway. Uh, I'm just gonna hit a little pitching wedge. It's 126 up the hill. I normally hit this about 133 to 135. I'm gonna club up, try and miss a little long, and if I have to, get up and down. Here I love how Mike plays to his strengths and then also plans for where he can get up and down the easiest. What do you got? All right, so I did exactly what I wanted right there. I missed a little bit long, uh, almost pin high because there's a little backstop right here, and left. I didn't want to short side myself on the right-hand side and be right at that pin. There's only about eight feet to work with. Over here, there's you know, 25, 30 feet, and uh, give me a good chance at birdie. Do you have any special thoughts when you look at this putt, like what you want to do? All right, so for this, I'm not going to be super aggressive. I'm just going to try and you know, lag it up. It's 25 feet coming through the fringe, going downhill. You can't be too aggressive with downhillers. So I'm just gonna try and pick out a line, commit to it, and then uh, just try and roll it. So because Mike is not focused on making a birdie, he's able to just focus on speed, which is critical in these longer 25, 30 foot putts. And that's why he's able to have a short little tap in par. <laughs> that counts. Good par, <laughs> thanks. All right, so this is 220, a little downhill, actually a lot downhill. Uh, it's probably playing more like 190. Uh, I'm gonna go five iron right here, try and hold one off just a little bit. If I'm gonna miss, miss to the right, give myself a chance at an up and down, and even long is okay. And uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going with. On tough part threes, it's very important to know where your bailout is. That way it will free up your golf swing and you'll be able to hit a much better, more pure shot with more confidence. What do you got? Okay, so I've got like a, about a 35 footer up the hill in the fringe again, a little left to right. I'm just gonna try and lag it up there, not get too aggressive, try and two putt this and uh, get out of here with the par. Again, it's a par situation and it's good to know that and have realistic expectations. By doing that, the holes will become a lot easier. All right, last hole with Mike here. Par five, what's your approach on this guy? I think you just play it as a uh, three shot hole. It's 550 yards. I'm just gonna kind of bail out to the left, just make sure I you know, put it on the, on the green stuff. And then usually a three wood or a five wood from there because it's going back up the hill. It's gonna play pretty long. Uh, should have, I'm guessing, 120-ish going in and then, uh, you know, a nice 54 wedge and, mm. uh, you know, just get out of here with a par. I like how you think it through, like, all your shots uh, ahead of time. Kind of have a game plan for approaching the hole. That's a good way to approach basically every hole pretty much, right? Yeah, you know, c starting from the first, uh, you know, shot, you just want to pick out your target, commit to it, put a good swing on it and just try and execute and then, you know, keep moving forward. All right, let it rip. Here on the par five, Mike is playing super smart. He knows it's a three shot hole. That way he never will over swing with his drive. Yeah, hit a really good uh, driver right there. I've got like 305 going in. I'm just gonna hit a little uh, chippy five wood up there. I feel confident with it, play a nice little draw and uh, you know favor the left side a little bit. All 
All right, so uh, I favored the left side just like I wanted to. I've got a decent angle going into the pin. I've got 95 yards. I pured that five wood back there, so I'm a little bit closer than what I want. It's a little uphill, a little in the wind, probably playing like 105. I'm gonna hit my 54. I'm gonna try and favor the left-hand side. If I miss, then I can get up and down and make par. All right, everybody, hope you liked this video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Just three holes with Mike getting inside his head, seeing what he's doing. He's a great player, could learn a lot from him, just his mindset, his strategy. Always have a plan at what you're doing. You drew it up just like you said on the tee box, literally. Like this, we didn't produce it, this is how it worked. Uh, now you got this little putt? Yeah, uh, I gave myself a 30 footer, uh, a little bit past the pin, which I wanted. I forgot that there was a ridge back here, so I'm just gonna try and lag it up, not get too aggressive, take my par, and uh, keep moving forward. All right, let's see if you can roll a good one. Love you guys. See you next time. So no birdie here, but it was a great three hole run of all pars and playing like this in three hole stretches will help you lower your scores and have more confidence out on the golf course.